everyone. I am doing experiment number two, the brightness control on my electronic playground. Now today's experiment is going to uh, pretty much uh, give you the idea of how things like dimmer switches and uh, volume control on your television sets and radios work. Now, uh, with these experiments, I'll be doing the experiment showing how it's done. Uh, there's a lot more information uh, that I probably won't be passing on. I'll just kind of give a basic explanation. Uh, later on, I'll do uh, some other videos that uh, give more detailed uh, information, and then I'll refer back to these experiments. But uh, today, these are pretty much just doing experiments. So, uh, the first thing we have to do is connect our battery, which I forgot to do. You need one of these batteries, and they're going to go right there. So, I'm going to do that first. Okay, we've connected our battery, and now it's time to connect the wires. So, the first uh, wire we're going to be connecting is wire 27 to 56, which is right here. I'll give you a top view later. These two are next door to each other, so I'm going to use the littlest wires provided in the set. Because they're right next door. In this set, uh, putting wires together is more based on length of how far away things are. Uh, the wires are not separate as to they're meant for cold or hot or anything like that. Um, so if you get this. So that's 27 to 56. Now we're doing what we're going to connect 55 to 40. Uh, 55 is here and 40 is over here. Um, I actually did this experiment the other day and then I realized my hand was blocking some of the uh, results, so I'm going to try hard not to do that this time around. Okay, so that's 55 to 40. And then we're doing 41 to 48. 41's here, 48's there. Right next door to each other, so... Again, we're using a small wire for that. The red wires tend to be medium size, and then the the there's these dark blue ones that are really long. Uh, 49 to 3, which is where I'm going to use the really long blue wire. 49 is right here, and 3 is up here. Sometimes it can be kind of a challenge to get them in there. You just don't want to go in between their coils. Come on, go in the coil. Good thing. Okay, and then the last set is 4 to 26. 4 is up here, 26 is over here. Alright, now I'm going to give you a top of uh, view of this. Okay, so here's the uh, top view we have of this. Um, we had uh, 27 to 56, uh, 55 to 40, um, 41 to 48, 49 to uh, 3, and 4 to 26. And those are how you're connecting. Now, what we're going to be interested in is the switch and the LED up here. Uh, so let's test to make sure this works. Okay, so the LED is coming on. 
Uh, we've already, now experiment one was just uh, turning on the LED. This uh, 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 experiment is going to do with variable resistors. Now if you recall, resistors are what are responsible for uh, determining how much electric, electric current, current goes through um, uh, you know, a wire. Uh, the less resistance there is, uh, the more current will be allowed to flow. Now, um, variable uh, resistors, which is what we're experimenting on today, which is the concept between volume control on your radio, uh, dimmer switches on lights, um, what they determine, they allow you to have a little bit more control of how much you know, uh, you want, you know, most uh, things you can either have it going through and, or turning it off, like a lot, you know, uh, light switches, they turn on a light, they turn it off. Uh, variable resistors allow you to uh, determine whether you might want some light, but not too much, so you might choose a low setting with a light bulb. Uh, with your radio, you may want to boom your, you know, turn it all the way up so you can have the neighbors call the police on you. Um, you know, so that's the exa that's the uh, example of re you know variable resistors. Now we're going to be using this knob here to uh, sh to control how much light this uh, LED is going to get. And now I'm going to do that experiment, and hopefully I won't block your view like I did the last time. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. Now, they connected this uh, little wire here. The reason why they did this is that apparently uh, you want to put limits on resistors so they don't overload and blow out. So apparently that is why we're connecting these two wires together, or these two coils together. That is supposed to protect us from doing that, from overloading. Okay, folks, so keep your eye on the, the LED. We are going to turn our switch. Now, right now, the switch is totally at the right. Uh, it's pointing to the coil 50. So I'm going to turn on our, uh, our light bulb. And notice that it's right now quite br it's at its brightest. Now I'm going to start turning the knob to the left and notice that the light bulb is gradually becoming dimmer until it almost looks like it's not on at all, except it is. So I'll turn it off so you can see what it looks like off. Now I'm going to turn it back on again. The uh, thing is pointing at the coil 48. It's at its dimmest sec uh, setting and I am going to gradually turn it back to co coil 50 and you'll notice it is gradually getting brighter. And now it's at its brightest level. Now, the, now what they want us to do, this uh, experiment has uh, three parts, is that they're going to um, remove uh, the wire from spring 48 and connect it to spring 50. Uh, I didn't find you needed to uh, use a longer wire. Uh, 50 is right next to 48, so we're going to remove the wire from 48 and connect it to 50. What this is actually going to do, if you remember the light bulb started when the, the light bulb started out bright and we were able to adjust it to go dimmer. When we switch it and go to uh, coil, we connect it to coil 50, what it's going to do is that the light bulb is going to start out dim, and as we, um, we uh, turn the switch, you know, turn the knob, it's going to make it brighter. So what it does is essentially reverses it. So I'm going to do this, I'm going to take, take it out 48, and I'm going to connect it to 50, and we're going to see a difference. Uh, the arrow is connecting at coil 50 like it was last time. It's all the way to the right. So I'm going to turn on the light bulb now. And notice that it's dim. Unlike how it was before when we had it connected to 48 and it was at its brightest. Now we're going to uh, turn the knob. And notice that it is gradually getting brighter. Until now that it's connect pointing to coil 48 totally to the left, it's at its brightest. 
we're going to go turn it back to the right and it goes dim again. Now, what they want to do now is remove a wire from spring 49, which is right here. That's what uh, actually seems to connect it to the knob and connect it to spring 48. So we're going to do that now. And what this is going to do is it's going to remove our option of uh, how we can control the knob. We're going to turn on the, uh, the uh, light bulb, and the light bulb is, for one thing, going to be dim. It's going to be in a dim setting, and we're not going to have any option to control it because the uh, wire's been removed from the variable knob, you know, resistor knob, and uh, it's going to stay dim. So, turn it on. Notice it's dim. Uh, hold on, I'm turning it off again. Okay, it's dim, and I'm turning the knob, and notice it is not getting brighter because the knob is no longer connected. And uh, so we can't adjust it. It's, uh, it's a low lighting. So I hope you've enjoyed this experiment. Uh, stay tuned. There's 50 experiments in this uh, set. Uh, I've done two, so we've got, uh, what, 48 left? I, I kind of suck at math. It's a terrible thing. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, it's, it's the morning, and I haven't had, my caffeine hasn't put, put in. So uh, anyway, uh, I hope you uh, have enjoyed this, and stay tuned for more videos.